Hey crafty friends, this is Jen from Katahdin Crafts and welcome to the Lawn Fawn Fans Summer Hop. We are a group of crafty friends that absolutely love Lawn Fawn and we like to share our inspiration and our creations with you. Not only is this a fun and inspirational hop, but it is also a giveaway. We have a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby Shop. I will have that awesome shop linked below. They have super fast shipping and they, of course, carry Lawn Fawn. And a surprise for you, we also have a $25 gift certificate to Crescent Creation. They also have an awesome shop with fast shipping time and they carry Lawn Fawn as well. I will have both of those shops linked below so you can make sure you go and check those out. And further into my video, I will explain how you have the opportunity to win those gift certificates. Okay, getting into my project for the hop, I used the Berry Special stamp set and also the Stitch Teapot and the Treehouse die cut sets. I thought that these were all super cute and they worked well together. And these are all from the spring release. So I pre-cut all my die cuts and I also stamped out all of the stamps. Some of them I use, some of them I don't, but I always make sure that I have choices when I'm sitting down to start creating a card. Um, I generally don't know exactly where the card is gonna take me when I'm creating. I don't do one ahead of time. I kind of do it as I go. I have my vision of how I want it to turn out and sometimes it just leads me in a completely different direction than my vision, but I was super happy with this today. I hope that you enjoy it as well. Um, the first thing I'm doing is this cute teapot. I thought I would make that into the little mouse house and I'm using shaded lilac and um, the Distress Oxide inks. I like the way that this blends better than just the Distress ink. It has like a nice soft satiny feel to it. Um, and the more that you apply the ink, the more that it will start to blend. So I'm going to also use the same type of ink on my background in tumbled glass, which is, if you've watched many of my videos, tumbled glass is my very favorite sky. Um, I went with a solid sky for this card because I am going to add those cute little adorable clouds that come in those die cut sets. And now as you can see, I just layer my ink on top of each other, just making all those layers. So you can see this right now really well in that grass. The more ink layers you add on, the better you get for that blend. And I like to have my corners and my edges just a little bit darker. Um, it gives it just a little bit more dimension and interest in my opinion. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of sponge sugar right in the middle of that to add a little bit more depth to my sky. And it, it gives a little bit of pink and purple all at once when it adds to that tumbled glass. Now I'm going to start assembling my teapot. I use some Lawn Fawn glittery cardstock and cut out those little extra pieces um, in that sparkly yellow, which I thought was cute. I love all the details that come with these dies. Adorable, simply adorable. This is the little door frame that comes with the tree house, but we are going to make the little teapot the house today. And right now I'm deciding if I wanted to have two windows and I decided yes, that the door of course needs something more than just that solid um, purple in the background. So we're gonna put a window there and then I have to cut one a little bit later for an additional window in the teapot. And I'm just gonna add one of those flower centers for the doorknob and then we are kind of good to go for that right now and I'm going to show you the Copic marker coloring that I did today. I'm just going to show you a couple of them because I basically used the same color scheme throughout the whole entire card. I was just doing these strawberries um, and the little mice. I'm going to make them a warm gray. For all of my berries in the card I used R24, R27, and R29 Copic markers. I like to do that um, for more dimension 
or to make it look more shadowed and three-dimensional, I start off by color mapping with my light color, then I go to my mid-tone, and then I go to the darker, and then I blend it all back out with that light tone again. And I'm gonna do the same with those leaves. I'm gonna pick three different YG colors and blend that all out. Now, when it comes to the stems, I choose a different shade of green, and I'm gonna only use two different colors. I do find if it's a smaller area that I, you don't really have the space to do a whole lot of shadowing. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the G09 and the G07 for those spaces. And I'm just going to fill in those flowers with a little bit of yellow in the middle and I'm going to leave them white like strawberry blossoms. Speaking of strawberry blossoms, we are almost at our peak here, or not peak necessarily, but we're almost at our beginning. Um, I know most places probably already started their strawberry season, but here in northern Maine, I think we're a little bit later just because we are so far north. We are close to Canada, um, so we're a little bit later, but I'm looking forward to next week going and getting some of those fresh strawberries. After creating this card, it's really gotten me excited. There is really nothing better than a nice sun-warmed strawberry picked right from the field. Okay, and you can see that I'm using my warm grays, which is kind of like a brownish tint almost. So I thought that that would be a great color for these little mice. I'm using W1, W3, and W5. I like to skip every other one when I'm doing blending with any gray tones. And now it's time to assemble the card. This is an A2 size card. It will have a little bit of a white border when assembled. So this card panel right here is five and a quarter by four inches. And now I'm just gonna add those cute little clouds in the sky and that little bumblebee. And then for our sentiment, I'm gonna put it right in that cute little sign. And it's gonna say, thank you, or thank so very much. And then I thought, how cute would it be to jazz up these little clouds with some smiley faces? That comes with the stamp set as well. And as you can see, I did go back and cut out another window frame in that cute sparkly yellow. I'm gonna add that. Then we had to add our cute little mice. This little guy is holding up a berry after he picked it. Maybe he's showing it off, or maybe he's thinking that he's gonna take a great big bite of it. Not sure. And then this fella, he's holding several of them. How cute is that? That's gonna be me, and then the kids are gonna probably just have the single one. And now that they're all teenagers, I have to drag them to pick strawberries. Whereas when they're little, they used to love to do it. Now I'm lucky if I can get the crew to go. Huh, <sighs> yeah, they're growing up, and they're growing up fast. All right, so I'm adding this cute little flower that does come with the teapot set. I just add some little decor to their little house. I can add that sign right in the front. And I thought that this is an adorable thank you card for anybody in this summer. And I wanted to add a little bit more to that berry or to that teapot top. So we're gonna add the little cupcake or muffin, whichever one you want to think that is. We're gonna add that to the top, and now we have to put a little center into that flower to finish that off. And we're just gonna add another flower onto the flower. Very cute. And now we're going to put this onto our card base, which is a five and a half by four and a quarter. And I love sparkle, so of course we're gonna to have to use a little Wink of Stella and clear and put a little bit of sparkle on each of those berries. And I do add two different layers on here just to make sure it's nice and sparkly. I'm almost done with this cute little card. I am going to add a little bit of a surprise inside. Another one of those little mice that I had already colored up. I always like to add a little bit of something in the middle if I have an extra stamp laying around. Which often, like I said, I never really have a plan. Um, I have an idea, but I don't always have the finished product in my head so it just builds itself so I often have little extra critters laying around so you might as well put them right in the side or inside <laughs> thank you so much for crafting with us today make sure that you hop along I will have the next person up on the hop which is my friend Marla she is super duper talented so make sure that you hop along 
And in order to win those gift certificates, please make sure you comment on each one of our videos, like, and of course, if you haven't subscribed to any of us, we would really appreciate your support. So comment, like, subscribe, and get lots of inspiration along the way, and we will see you in the fall. Thanks again, everybody. Happy crafting.